Hello, my name is Kenethia and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about my August sewing plans, hashtag Friday Sews, and this is my first video. So if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and also giving me a thumbs up. I will surely appreciate it and I give you a thanks in advance. So for my first, one of my first sewing plans is going to be Simplicity 7383 and I'm going to be, be making V2, which is the long dress. The only modification I plan on making to this dress is making it a little shorter because I'm only 5'2". And here's the line drawings on the back that I hope you can see well. And the fabric that I plan on using is a fabric that I picked up from Fabric.com a few years back. And it is a crepe fabric. It's very thin and sheer. But it's very beautiful. And now that I know how to line fabrics... I will be using this fabric right here, which is this plain cotton fabric that I got at Walmart, I believe, to line the bodice of the dress along with the skirt portion of the dress. I would not be lining the cape part of the dress because I want the cape to remain nice and flowy. My next plan, I'm going to stop putting this stuff up here because it's just going to keep shaking this and, and the foam. So we don't want to keep doing that. The next thing I plan on making is Quick Sew 4138. And I plan on making view A, and I'm going to be making this for my 15-year-old daughter. And here's the line drawings on the back. And this is the fabric that I plan on using. This is the fabric that I got from, I believe it was Ogle's Closet. Uh, it was a few years back. And this is a, a type of cotton sateen mixed with the denim. I can't really explain it. But it's like a cotton satin mixed with a denim, but it's very, very soft. And it's stretchy going this way. Very stretchy. Going this way, just a little, a tiny, tiny bit stretchy. But I think this would be the perfect uh, fabric to make her that um, jumper dress. One of my next mates is Butter at 6435. And it's the seat and sew pattern. And I plan on making VB. And this is for my six year old daughter. I have this fabric right here that I got from um, Facebook Market, and she really loves it. And it's only like a yard, a, maybe less than a yard, but it's enough to make her that that um, pattern. Okay, the next thing I plan to make is again for my six-year-old daughter. Is this flutter pinafore dress that I got off of Etsy, and it's called Oh Me Oh My Sewing. And I plan on making this version right here. And I'm going to use this fabric that I picked up from Walmart a while back. And this is just a plain quilting cotton fabric. And I think it would be very pretty for the um, summer and also the fall. Okay. One of my next um, mates would be the Itch to Stitch. I believe it's pronounced Quebec skirt. And uh, I want to show you the line drawings to this skirt right here. I have a few denim skirts, but I don't enjoy wearing them because um, I'm way bigger right here in the you know, tummy section and I need something that's going to be comfortable. But this pattern right here has, um, it has elastic in the waistband part. So I thought that this would be a nice pattern to make for um, a stretchy denim. And uh, the fabric that I chose is something I got from Fabermark Fabrics, which is one of my favorite um, fabric stores. But it's this denim right here. And this denim does have a little stretch to it. And you need, I believe with this pattern, they do recommend for you have some type of stretch to it. And it has a little stretch going this way. It's not a lot, but it's just enough. So it's not, it's not really stiff. It's not going to be really stiff around your waist part or your thighs. So I really like that. And then the next one is a Cynthia Rowley pattern is 1104 and I plan on making view A um, maybe later on this month but for right now we'll be focusing on view C which is the skirt and I'm going to show you the line drawings of the skirt and I'm be using some scuba knit just some plain black scuba knit for that Nothing fancy, just a plain black scuba neck. So I need a plain black skirt in my wardrobe. And to complement that skirt, I want to make McCall's 8113 VB. 
Then the only thing with this pattern, I'm not going to make the sleeves that go with view B. Instead, I'm going to make the sleeves that go with view C. And I hope you can see that. The little flutter sleeves, I think that's very cute. And I'm going to make that top out of a scuba knit, but it's this leopard print. Matter of fact, I'll be making this tomorrow and it should be done by tomorrow night. And the next pattern I want to make is McCall's 7950. I've had this for a little while in my stash and I plan on making view D. I really like this pattern because of the um, ties at the shoulders and also because it has pockets and because it has buttons. And I love all those details about it. I'm going to turn around so you can see the line drawings. And I plan on making me a few shirts to go up under it. And I'm going to be using this fabric right here that I picked up from Hobby Lobby today. It's a cotton sateen. It's pretty thin, but it seems like it's a good quality. And um, yeah, I'm going to be making that dress out of it. And the next pattern is a pattern that I made a couple of weeks ago. It is Butterick 6722. And I'll be making view B again. I do have a picture of me wearing um, the dress that I made a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram and Facebook page. If you would like to see it. And this is a very easy make. But this time, I plan on making it out of fall fabric that I picked up from Hobby Lobby again today. I really love pumpkins. Like, I really love pumpkins. If I can wear pumpkins all year long, I would. I really love pumpkins, especially a gingham pumpkin. I mean, look at that. It's, it's actually beautiful gingham. And you get stripes and dots. These are gorgeous. But yes, I plan on making that dress out of this fabric. And my last sewing plan for this month is um, the French dress by Chalk and Notch Patterns. And I'll show you the line drawings. It's very pretty. And I plan on making view, view A with this. Let's see. Hope that you can see this. Okay. I plan on making view A. And I'll be using another fall, print, fall type fabric. And this is a I want to say this is a chalet fabric. I believe it's a chalet fabric. I got it from Fabric Marks. It was like $4 or $5 and change for a yard. But I've been using a, um, this fabric for that pattern. And I think this is very beautiful. And I don't think it would need a lining. Um, at least I don't plan on lining. If I line anything, it would be the bodice. And if I line the bodice, I'm going to use the same fabric to line it. And so far, that is all my sewing plans that I have for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please consider subscribing to my video and also give me a thumbs up. Until next Friday, I'll see you again and happy sewing. Thank you.